Tonight's beer is a completely different style than I usually have, but for the novelty of it, why not? This is from Wayne Gretzky Craft Brewing number 99 Rye Lager. Uh, they call it a smooth malt and light hops with uh, brewed with rye grain instead of the usual barley. Interesting. So, so today, today I, I saw some package content descriptions matching some things I'm waiting for for PCB projects, including this one. It was described as A1S module, and I'm guessing it looks like it is the ESP32 A1S. And this has an AC101 audio codec on it, so you can take audio in and out and process it and things like that, or use it as a media player. So I could do things with that, sort of like I do with the Teensy. Take in audio, maybe do some delay, echo, whatever kind of effects, and send it back out as a real-time effect processor. This microscope definitely has a lot of zoom. I am working on a project, by the way, to try and get more of the object on screen at once. So with this AC101 audio codec on here, a lot of the pins on the module are dedicated to things like the headphone out, speaker out, and line in, microphone in, there's two microphone ins, some IOs, a UART, and it runs on 3.3 volts. And other features will be on these IOs, of course. This type of module might be useful for a Bluetooth speaker with all of this audio support. And they give a little reference design for a minimum system where you can hook up audio in and out to the module. The way I heard about this, another maker sent me a link about this project using this module in January. And this is an audio effects processor, so I thought, I need to get one of these and just maybe make my own breakout board and get up and running and see what I can do. So I went on AliExpress and looked for the cheapest module I could find, whatever that would have been at the time. And so for a couple of dollars, I'm making a breakout board because it's not impossible, but it's kind of annoying to have to work with connecting up wires to such small pads. So in the same amount of time, I can just do a PCB layout and get the boards in and make life a lot simpler. The next item I thought would be related to this project is called Head Adapter. So I figure that's Headphone Adapter. So these are four conductor headphone jacks, tip ring ring sleeve, surface mount. So I figured for audio projects, those are probably good for a small board footprint. I can use them for audio in, audio out, whether it's line in and out, headphones, whatever. I figured I would standardize around this and make it easier to hook things up when I'm experimenting with all kinds of different boards. So I went and looked for the best deal I could find, and these are for these four conductor plugs. So if I just want stereo left and right, I just hook up to those pins, but I have the option of using all four. And it's good to be able to see the specs in the listing so I can do a board design and make sure I'm using the right footprint before I get the parts in and then I'm ready to go when they arrive. So I'm probably going to buy more. I just bought 10 right now to get started. And if they seem to be okay and they're not just cutting in and out, I'll stock up because I'm sure I can use these. This one is called Gaskets and it was actually registered mail. I had to go into the post office to sign for it. I don't think it needed to be. It's just some shippers occasionally do that. But I was expecting maybe it's rubber washers being called gasket, but these are probably nylon spacers. I did order rubber washers though, because I have some physical things to assemble soon, like involving motors and bolting things on and I need stuff like lock washers and these nylon washers will be good for making sure I don't short circuit if there's a metal thing that I'm connecting up to. Even for something quickly accessible, if I need to pad out some space to mount something, I can just grab these thickest ones and use them sort of like shims to make up for any dead space. Definitely it seemed like something useful to have. 
So I went searching and found these various kits of 350 pieces and not knowing exactly what I would want, having this kind of selection is a good idea for stocking up on mechanical related stuff. I don't really have a lot of things like this. I tend to just go buy bits and pieces as needed. So now I've got this. This is called Audio Component IC. Now the only thing I can think of is I ordered some op amps and also audio power amp ICs just for various things, but okay, yeah, this is through hole and surface mount. I think I know what this is, but I'm gonna need that microscope again. Yeah, TDA2822, which would be a stereo power amp, and hopefully this through hole is the same thing. I learned about these last year when GNU sent me in a bunch of things, including one of these ICs to try out. And the listings for ICs never reveal anything, so off to the datasheet. These are obsolete, low voltage, down to 1.8 volt, dual power amplifiers, and it's only an 8-pin chip. And you can tell it's obsolete when its intended purpose is a dual audio power amp for portable cassette players and radios. So you just have a power supply, inputs and outputs. It can run from 1.8 up to 15 volts, so that's a convenient range for just general PCB projects. If you're running various loads, speakers, headphones, or whatever, at different voltages, here's your different power outputs. Or if you're not using stereo outputs, you can bridge the amplifier and use it that way. And that looks fairly compact for a PCB if you have this little 8-pin chip and a 3-volt stereo cassette player with motor Motot speed control. Oh yeah. And here we have single-sided PCB, which I believe it feels like that. And I ordered a bunch of solder boards for prototyping because I don't really have my stuff accessible. So if I'm going to do something where I don't want to make a PCB, and order a specific design. I can just hook stuff up here if I can open it. That's a lot of boards. How many did I order? Okay. Enough messing around. Oh yeah, smell that freshly cut FR4. It looks like I got roughly 20 of these. It says 5 by 7 centimeters, and it's just a bunch of solder pads. There's no dedicated circuit on there, so you can just easily hook things up, and you'll have to wire it yourself. So when I was shopping for this, I didn't know what I really wanted, but I didn't need anything fancy like edge connectors, so I just chose whatever made sense and was cheap. And this looks pretty much like what I ordered. Looks like the drill holes are about one millimeter and it's standard 2.54 millimeter pin pitch. So, stocking up. Well, this was a good batch of parts. It's things I'm going to need in general, like these spacers, washers, circuit boards and stuff. And things that I have for specific projects now. Headphone jacks, power amplifiers for audio, and this ESP32A1S for audio. This audio stuff is going to get put to use very soon. I'm waiting on a PCB right now. This mechanical related stuff is going to get used in the near future. I'm waiting on stuff as well for that. Motors and things. And of course, circuit boards always going to get used. So I look forward to putting this all to use. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, questions and comments down below. I will, uh, I'll talk to you later.